Okay, so now we have our player uh, object. It, uh, when it hits a wall object, it stops, so we're happy. We've got uh, some predictable uh, behavior that we would expect in uh, a playable game. So uh, what's next? Well, you said before that he goes right outside the room when you press left. So we want to make a border around the room. Um, so if you hold down the shift button okay. and drag with your mouse, it keeps creating the objects as you drag along. Very nice. So I'm going to keep doing that outside the room. Okay, and just for uh, everyone, what we're looking at is a room that is really only going to be the size of the uh, screen. We're not we're not moving uh, any background. We're not we're not making a, a room that's larger than than the visible screen area. We we can t we can discuss that later. So we have a border around this visible room, and. Uh, do we have to do anything uh, to the object uh, that uh, that is represented there, uh, or will the behavior be predictable? Um, the object's events are already defined, so um, we we'll want to make a playable level here, and um, so we'll make it like a sort of maze. Okay. So, um, meaning, uh, what we're going to do is have uh, uh, walls that uh, need to be uh, uh, navigated by by the player. So the little green guy is going to move and try to avoid yeah. the uh, the walls. He's going to try to avoid the sides, and we're going to set up some walls. And uh, is bad stuff going to happen to him if he hits the walls or the sides? Um, or that, that would make it pretty difficult, but. We can make that. Well, or is good stuff going to happen if he uh, keeps going? We'll have to decide what we do, but uh, show us how, how we're going to set this up. Yeah. Okay. So, um, if you want to delete an object that you're not happy with in the room and you don't want it there, you just right-click on it. Okay. And, and you didn't even have to hold down the shift button. You just right-clicked and dragged, yep. and it cleaned it up for you. Okay, yes. good. So, we've got our guy there. We've got a border. And now, um, yeah, so uh, we'll just make a simple little maze thing. I don't know. Something like this. And, yeah. So um, we want to make some sort of point object that the player can collect. Okay, and... We have our room. Yeah. That's good. Now uh, we want to make a little point sprite. So we're going to make another sprite here. Yep. The, the question I was going to have is what's going to get us points, but I'll wait for you to show us. So, so you've got a sprite that you want to be points... Yep. How are you going to do that? You're going to edit them? Yep. And you can make it whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to make it this little circle thing. Okay, so you use the little circle tool, and then yep. you've got the pencil tool. And, and I'll fill it with yellow. and his mouth with black. Okay. Yeah. But we want this one to be transparent because we don't want the green border around it. So we leave that. Okay. Now, that's mm -hmm. a sprite, and yep. does that need to be an object? Yes. I'm starting to get this. So we have now our third object, since yep. in computing we're very happy to understand that counting starts at zero, we have object zero, our little player guy. We have object one, which are which, which is our uh, a border or wall or floor, uh, and we've got uh, now object two, our third object, and this is going to be for points. Yes. So um, 
We want it to be visible. We don't want it to be solid. Um, it won't really do anything except sit there, so we'll leave it alone for now. But um, when the player hits it, we want to add yet another event. It's going to be collision. Okay. With the point object. We're oh, gonna so this is the, this is this is the good stuff. So if if this good thing happens, if player collides with this good thing, object two. Yes. We're gonna say something happens. Okay, what's gonna happen? Okay. First of all, we want to get points. So score here. Score tab. Score tab, and we want to set the score. We want to set the score. Okay, set to score. One, but we want it to be relative. Sure. So. Every time it happens, you get a, you get another point. Fine. Yeah. So um. But then we want to. So we're gonna go to the main one tab. Okay. We want to destroy the other the other object because if that didn't happen then you would just walk over it and get three million points. Oh, so we want to have one opportunity to score. We yes. collide with it, our score increases by one, and then that's it, you're done, it goes away. Yeah. So it applies to other. Other. Okay, yes. meaning relative to our, our, our player, who is object zero, yeah. the collision is between object zero and object two, the point object. Yes, that applies to that specific one. If we do object, object two, that would destroy every single coin object in the room. Sure, any point gathering object. So that's not what we're interested in. We just no. want it to apply to the other object in the collision. The, yes. The, the, being there's there's the player object and there's the point object. Okay, yeah. good. Okay. Yes. Now we want to make these inside the room. Okay, so we're going to place our little, little happy point guy in the room. Make him here, here, sure. here, 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 and here, and here, and here. Okay, so now we've got a fun place for our player to roam around and collect points. And hopefully, as he moves around, his score will go up and he won't be able to run up the score because every time he gets a point the point object will go away. Let's see how that works. Yeah. So I'm going to start playing. I'm going to move the guy around and yeah, I got a point. Now I'm going to just go down here. My score is going up and I'm going there. Three and my score is going up. I'm not very good at this game but we're doing alright here. So five and so on. Okay. That's working.